Hey everybody, what is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and in this video we're going to be talking about Echo, the successor to TDB Wizard. So stay tuned. What is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and today... Everything changes. Today we're going to be talking about hoodie news and updates, so stay tuned. Some of my favorite can't live without Google Chrome extension is a known security issue. I am the Mac Mage. So as I reported earlier this week, unfortunately, Team Destiny Builds, otherwise known as TDB, has disbanded. Now, in its place, or as the successor to the TDB wizard, there is now Echo. And so I'm going to take you guys on a complete tour of how to install this add-on, and then we're going to go inside of the add-on uh, so you can see what it looks like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to assume that for many of you, you actually have the wizard as I do for TDB, and I'm going to show you how to uninstall that and how to install Echo. So now I have a TDB wizard, and when I would go into TDB wizard, I got this prompt um, basically telling you that the Echo Wizard is the successor and that everything will be in beta for the next month whilst everything is transferred over to the Echo Wizard. So you can be prompted to upgrade at the next, um, like when you press escape, you'll be prompted to upgrade uh, to Echo Wizard. Now I was and I did, but the thing is, is that I'm having some connectivity issues when I um, updated this way. So what I'm going to encourage you guys to do is just to uninstall everything and then just install everything fresh and new. So let's get started. First what I'm going to do is I'm going to press C to bring up the context menu. You can also do this by long holding uh, or pressing the menu button depending on what your device is. And then bring up your context menu and go into add-on set uh, add-on information, excuse me. And then you're going to want to just um, Uninstall TB Wizard. And in the event like me that you're having issues with the upgrade or the update to Echo Wizard, go ahead and uninstall that as well. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go over to Systems and File Manager. Okay, so these first set of instructions are for people who have TDB repository already. So that if you do not have this repository yet, then just hang on a second and I will come back and give you guys instructions. Okay, if you have TDB repository, what you're going to want to do is locate the old TDB repository. Okay, then you're going to click on seed, bring up your context menu or long hold or menu button and then you want to edit the repository do not touch this top part you want to just edit the name so you're gonna edit this and just change it to echo just like that or you can call it uh, echo wizard or whatever you want so and then just click OK alright so for the rest of you guys this is what you're gonna do click on add source under add source, again, you're going to add, click on none, and then it's going to be http colon slash slash tdbrepo.com. Okay, and then when you're done with that, click on done. And then under here, change the name, and you're going to call it asterisk echo. Okay, and then just click on done when you're done. When completed, if you've done it correctly, it will look like this. Okay, so everybody should be on the same page now. So you're going to want to come out to your home screen and click on Systems, Add-ons, Install from Zip File. Now find the new Echo repository. And what you're going to want to install is right here. This is the um, repository.echo-1.00zip. So go ahead and install that. Once that is done, click up one to go to install to rep from repository. Now we're looking for the echo repository. Go ahead and click in there. Uh, scroll down to the program add-ons and install the Echo Wizard. 
once the add-on has been enabled, then just go ahead and click out of this. And click escape. And click escape. Now let's go over to programs and let's go inside the Echo Wizard. So here we are inside the Echo Wizard and as you can see it looks very much like the TDB Wizard. It has the version number here at the top which again is 1.00 and then you have your latest news, backup and restore, Echo Builds, Echo Add-on Installer which is um, pretty much the same thing as TDB's Add-on Installer. And then you have Fanorific Themes, Community Builds, search builds, etc, etc. You have your maintenance tool, never forget about your maintenance tool. Um, e extras, fixes, tweaks, etc. And advanced settings. And it just keeps going on and on and on and on for the amazing features that this wizard, uh, the TDB wizard had. One of the things I wanted to draw your attention to is how to get support. So in this section, it's going to tell you how to report errors that you're having or any issues that you're having with the TDB wizard. Um, always make sure to check out their forum group, and it's right here. Um, and I'll put this link in the description. This is where you can go to get all of the help. So like I said, everything is still under the TDB wizard umbrella until everything is migrated over to Echo. So they're still also using the TDB forums for any issues in regards to TDB wizard, or in this case, Echo wizard. So um, report everything over there. It tells you to take photos of your log and all that kind of stuff. So very helpful um, guide for getting support for any errors that may occur while everything is switching over and then afterward. Um, now, there are going to be occasions where the servers are offline, so they're doing maintenance or uh, moving files. So if you're experiencing trouble like that, again, please remember to report any issues to the developer. So let's go ahead and check out the builds that are in here right now. So in here right now is the Horus build, Horus XXL, and Toon Flicks, and more will be arriving shortly. And so if you click into one of these builds, I'll just show you inside here real quick. You have the same kind of setup. You have the ability to download the build now, and then watch the YouTube guide, write a review, read a review, and view build fan art. So it's pretty much the same layout. Let's go into Echo add-on installer. So inside here you have pretty much the same add-ons as we're in TDB Wizard for the add-on installer. Um, there are a ton of add-ons in here. Some are being transferred over still, I believe, um, but it is functional and you can download stuff from in here right now. Um, and just a lot of content and again uh, if you guys don't know the cool thing about this add-on installer is that it doesn't just install the add-on it also installs the repository which the add-on comes from so that way you can get the updates directly from the developer and you don't have to wait for echo to update the wizard so now let's go out of here let's go into fanorific themes so you have a Halloween skin, a digital midnight skin, just different skins that people are um, uploading to this wizard, which some of them look really cool. So I myself might check some of these out. Let's go ahead and check out this Halloween skin. Of course we want to download this. Alright, so you have to force close for the changes to take effect, but I'll just wait until I finish this. So there's just a lot of cool stuff in here. You still have the community builds. You can search builds now. You have your maintenance tools, extras, fixes, tweaks, etc. Um, advanced settings. There's still a lot of stuff in here. You still have the speed test. You still have um, a lot of the stuff that TDB Wizard had carried over into this wizard so it's a really wonderful little wizard same as TDB wizard but even enhanced with some new stuff that um, is being added to the echo wizard um, I don't know what shape this wizard will take when it is completed but right now it looks pretty awesome and 
I wish Echo and their team the best of luck with this wizard. And yeah, so hopefully you guys will install this wizard. So shall we force close Cody and uh, see uh, what this skin looks like? I think we should. Let's see. Alright, so let's open this back up. And shit. <laughs> 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 love it <laughs> that's pretty awesome okay so here we are at the skin and that's pretty cool i like this nice and spooky i want to thank you guys for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed the tour of the echo wizard i wish all the guys from team destiny builds nothing but success you guys are awesome people and great developers so it's good to know that some of you guys are still going to be continuing on in the cody uh, community and the community needs developers like that who are really you know approachable and, and just cool people so um hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please like and share also if my tutorials and videos do help you out please consider subscribing to my channel your support helps continue to motivate me to do what i do so thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next one